Hey, what's up everybody? Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, doing a little Swiss Draft M13 style. Um, we open Odric, which pretty reasonable start, I'd say. This guy's awesome. You attack with him and three other guys, and all your guys are unblockable. Or else you can devastate their board, so... Pretty versatile dude. I like him a lot. Not a ton else going on in this pack. Public execution's fine. Ring is cool. Benediction fine, Encrust is decent, Vaders are good, Safe Passage, Titanic Growth, Fury, um, all like mediocre cards. Odric's a pretty clear pick here, I would say. So, yep, looks like we are in white. Following up with, well, got some good options here, actually. Best card in the packs, pretty clearly the Flames, I would say, although it deals with less things overall than pacifism. Uh, flames can deal with more things at once. But, uh... Um, I think we're going to take the pacifism. Pacifism is a way to be here, I think. Divine Verdict's fine too, but it's not... I mean, it's not pacifism, so... Uh, let's just take the on color with our sweet, rare... Uh, removal spell. I'm down with that. Maybe I'll pick it over a Nighthawk again, huh? Drive some more people nuts. Alright. Best card in the pack. It's gotta be the Deadly Recluse. Um, I mean, I suppose White Black Exalted is a strategy too, but uh, I think I'd rather just have the Recluse. People don't really like to attack into this. Plus, if I have it with Odric and a couple other guys, I can make all my guys unblockable. Like I was saying, which is good. So, yeah, I think we're just going to pick the Deadly Recluse here and be content with that pick. Alrighty, now, what do we follow that up with? Well, Basswood Gorger is reasonable. Kind of digging the Ring of Thune, um, just because I've got Odric. If you give him Vigilance and he gets bigger with First Strike, kind of like the idea of that. Best card in the pack, probably Cower and Fear. This card is can be pretty devastating. Blade Tusk Boar is also very good. Um. I like these rings. I do like these rings. If you get this on like an attended night or anything like that, it can be real good. I mean, I know I'm in white. I don't know if I'm in green yet. Could take the cower. Cower's probably better. I think I'm going to go with the ring. Just feeling it. Alright. Well, murder is the best card in the pack. We've also got Public Execution, Blood on Her Bat, Titanic Growth, Plummet. I mean, Murder is pretty much far and away the best pick in the pack. I think I'm just going to take the Murder here. I mean, I've already passed a couple black picks, but... Like, I'm not, like, heartbroken that I missed out on a Cower in Fear, like a Duty Bound Dead. But I don't really feel justified in taking a Titanic Growth over a Murder. Especially since we only have a Deadly Recluse in green so far. And murder's pretty awesome. Yeah, let's take the Murder. I mean, Black White Exalted is a deck. Not one I'm necessarily gonna, you know, work hard at uh, getting into, but it's possible. Well, let's see. The Beast Tracker at the moment would let us search up what? Uh, we got Death Touch, X Proof Reach, Trample. Up. Oh. Can't search up our Odric, but can't search up the Deadly Recluse, so I suppose. Oh wait, what am I talking about? We've got Healer of the Pride in here. This is far and away the best pick in here. This card's amazing. I love Healer of the Pride. So yeah, not much question there actually. Since we're definitely white and this card can just this card's like ridiculous. It can just steal games. It can make it like literally impossible for your opponent to to get there. To be able to get there. Um 
Well, we've got the Show of Valor trick. We've got Guardian Lions, which I hope I never really have to play. I don't really like this card. Uh, Phantasm and Crust are very good. I think we'll just go with the trick here, the white trick. Cut white, I mean, we're definitely in white, so we want all of our opponents to know that. Uh, could take a Dark Favor, I suppose, but could also take a Kite Sail. It's pretty good with Odric, I guess. But, I mean, we're in white, and if we go in green, we've got some guys that can block flying. Maybe I'll just take another Show of Valor. I mean, I could see myself main decking two of these. They're a pretty reasonable trick. Okay, so we've got Bond Beetle, Safe Passage, and Crust, whatever. I think we'll probably just go with the... I guess Bond Beetle's actually kind of cool with Odric. You just uh, tack in with your 0-1. If you get a couple other creatures. Yeah, I could see that. I still think I want the Safe Passage. I want at least one of these. Safe Passage is a really amazing card. Um, Alright, we're just going to cut some more white here. It's not like we're really missing out on anything else anyway. Pillar Field Ox. Not my favorite card in the world, but it's playable. It's a really, really late Tormented Soul. I think this card's pretty good for the Exalted strategy. Uh, not much else we really care about, so I suppose we'll take the Torment Soul. We're still kind of torn on what our second color is. Uh, Glorious Charge is fine. I think I, I think I'd prefer the Sign and Blood. None of these are very good. Um, I think I'm just gonna let my opponents take those. Just let them take blue cards. Wow, Rebirth's playable. Alright, so I've got pretty decent pool so far. Um, some decent removal. Got some options. Alright, well, we've opened Disciple. How good is he in this deck? Not amazing so far. We only have five creatures, and there's not a ton of them that I would like to sacrifice to Disciple. I mean, Disciple's still got some potential. He's he's very good in exalted in an exalted deck. Could just take another Recluse. Um, those are really the only two: the Disciple or the Recluse. Um, I mean, we have more black picks. I mean, right now, I I guess I could say our our black pool is better than our our green pool. We only have the Recluse. But this card is so amazing. I mean, Recluse and Murder do essentially the same thing. And Tormented Soul, Vile Rebirth, and Sign and Blood. I don't really care if I miss out on those. Disciples cool. Has the potential to be the best. I guess for interest's sake, I'll, I'll take the Disciple. Um, I mean, you could argue the Recluse there, but I, th I think there's a there's a chance we play that. Oh, and then we get past the sweet white-green and another Deadly Recluse, huh? Well, could go Ravenous Rats. Could go another Sign in Blood. Card draw is good. Could go the Primal Clay. What am I feeling? What am I feeling? Evolving Wilds, let us fix. I do like Deadly Recluse a lot more than I like Sign and Blood, Ravenous Rats. How bad is Deadly Recluse as a splash? I don't think it's that terrible, but I guess it's like pretty defensive, so if you're splashing for a defensive card, it's always really weird. You'd rather like splash for like a bomb, you know? Think that we're gonna take another sign in blood. Get some more card draw going. I mean, don't forget that this doubles the kill spell too. That it is is also relevant. Um kind of unfortunate. I kinda wish I'd picked up these deadly recluses so I could pick up the slime here too. 
but I think we're just going to go with the Scorpion, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Sunstriker is also fine, but I think I'd prefer to have the Scorpion. This can kill things. So, yeah, Scorpion. Pretty solidified in black at this point. Alright, this card's actually good. I don't give War Falcon enough of a chance. I mean, it's always a 2-1 flying defender, at worst. It really isn't that bad. But I guess at the moment I don't really have any knights and soldiers, do I? I don't really have much creatures. I need to pick up some more. Um, Rise from the uh, Grave is very good. It's got to be the strongest card in the pack, so I think I'm going to go with the Rise from the Grave. Let's see. We've got... War Falcon, Silver Coat Lion, Disentomb, that's about it. I think we could probably go with the War Falcon and hope to pick up a few Knights and Soldiers. But like I said, this card's fine even if you don't have Knights and Soldiers. 2 1 Flying Defender. You can usually trade with something, especially if they're trying to aggro you out. So I think I'm going to do it. Go with the War Falcon here. Ooh, alright. Well, this is actually, we've got some good options here. Kind of feeling like taking a second Healer of the Pride. Like I said, the deck we could play now would, could, could just be like an Odric Healer of the Pride. So these just buy you the time until you get your Odric online. And then just swing an unblockable. Yeah, I really think this card is, is very powerful. I think it's actually stronger than the Squire or the Protector. It's a little bit unfortunate that both of these cards are in the pack with the Healer, but... I, I really I stand by this healer of the pride. This this card is this card's nuts. Yeah, I'm cool with that. It also is kinda nice it offsets our sign and bloods that we'd like to do on ourselves. Let's see I think at this point I can take a Sun Striker. I mean Guardians is fine. And actually having all this double white, double black is gonna be kind of awkward now that I think about it, but Guardians how amazing is he in that in this deck? It's not really that amazing. We don't have a ton of evasive stuff besides the Tormented Soul. Uh, Sun Striker. I guess Guardians turns on the War Falcon. Something I should keep in mind. I think I just like the Sun Striker more. Get some more life gain. Pretty good with that Ring of Thune. Take a third Sign in Blood. Would I play three Sign in Bloods? probably would. I don't really see why I wouldn't. It is card draw or kill spell. Ideally. If they're at two life, I guess. I think I'm cool with Sign of Blood. I like getting cards. Alright, well, I think Jam Day Tome, we already have three Sign of Blood, so this is a little bit overkill. Mastiff's fine with the ring. Beyond that, it's not really amazing. I don't really see anything else for us, really. I mean, I guess the tome's good, but the healers buying some time. I, I don't really see myself playing the Mastiff, so I think I am going to take the tome. I don't think I need it really, but there's a chance I play it. Not a great one. Um, sideboard options, we can do the Reign of Blades or the Erase. I think I would rather do the Reign of Blades for like the random flyer deck or whatever. Uh, I suppose Glorious Charge is playable. Didn't get a ton of good picks out of this, this pack, unfortunately. Uh, I guess I'm more concerned about the Windrake. And Augur is a pretty good card. Alright, so we didn't end up with as much good stuff as I would have liked, but that's okay. So going into pack three, we're pretty much, I mean, at this point we're pretty clearly black-white. We're going to need some more creatures, so I'm going to be valuing creatures pretty high here. Alrighty, what have we got? We've got the Captain's Call, which works remarkably well with both the Healer of the Pride and the Odric, so... Pretty clearly picking the captain's call, I think. I think probably the chronomaton 
is the best card in the pack. But like I said, just too much synergy with the captain's call and what we've already got. So I think I'm cool with that. Cathedral War is a good card too, but I like the captain's call in this deck. Striking my fancy. Gaining some, some life and doing some nuts stuff. Oh, well, pretty clearly the pacifism, right? Oh, 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 pacifism over the Nighthawk? Uh? Alright, I'll take the Nighthawk. Especially since we're hard up for creatures, like I was saying. So, certainly taking the Nighthawk here. Let's see. Uh, I've got Duty Bound Dead. Harbor Bandit. Can I get away with splashing blue? Probably not. I mean, we have a lot of double color stuff, but... I am in need of good creatures, and Harbor Bandit is a pretty amazing one. I suppose I could do the Duty Bound Dead. Good with Tormented Soul, good with Sunstriker, Nighthawk, Scorpion, other stuff. Yeah, I guess Duty Bound Dead's okay. We certainly don't need a fourth sign in blood. I'm not sure I need the Ravenous Rats. I would take Harbor Bandit if I had an Evolving Wilds, I guess, but I don't. How great is Duty Bound Dead in this deck? It's not really that great, but do definitely need a creature. So it's Duty Bound Dead or Harbor Bandit. I mean, Harbor Bandit's pretty clearly better. I think we're going to have a hard time getting double black and double white consistently, so I'm going to take that Duty Bound Dead. I don't want to mess with the third color yet. Um, Alright, well, Walking Corpse is a cheap creature. Dust Metal Prowler is a... I think we got to go with the Bat here, though. Bat's got the highest upside, being both evasive and gaining life. Um, we're a little bit four drop heavy, but I'm going to live with that. Alright, let's start hiding some stuff. I'm going to hide this tome. I'm going to hide Glorious Charge. Alright, so Mark the Vampire, good card. Duty Bound Dead. We need creatures, first and foremost. Tormented Soul can get in there. Heal of the Prides gain us some life, so unblockable guys are pretty good. Probably better than the second Duty Bound Dead. I'd rather just have an unblockable dude. Right? I think. Maybe not. If I had a mark, it would be pretty clearly the Tormented Soul. I guess Duty Bound Dead has higher upside with our other creatures, but... I think I there's still a chance I get like a dark favor or something like that, so I'll I'll take the tormented soul. Okay, so we've got War Falcon, Guardians, Crippling Blight, Dust Metal Prowler. What's our removal looking like? We don't have a ton. The pacifism and murder and some tricks, but they're not really removal. Uh Crippling Blight probably gonna be the best. Kills things, makes things unable to block. I kind of like those. Guardians would be fine in this deck. The double tormented soul now. So maybe I should consider that a little bit more. Fill our curve out a little bit better. And I'm hard up for creatures. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take the guardians here. I, I like what it does more for our deck. Uh, Yeah, we'll take another four drop. I love these bats. You know me. I love these bats. I mean, we could certainly use some two-drop creatures, but we've got stuff going on early. It's just not creatures. Um, but we still have stuff that we can do early, so... Yeah, I'm cool with another bat. I love those bats. Um, Alright. Pretty clearly taking the Battleflight Eagle here. It's a creature. It does things. I like it. Uh, not much for us here. Don't really see it likely that I would sideboard into Blood Reckoning. Although, I mean, we do have the life gain. I don't really care about any of these cards. I guess Smelt does take care of our Ring of Thune. But if they were to sideboard into Smelt just for our Ring of Thune, I don't think I'd really be concerned about that. But then again, I'm not really going to play Blood Reckoning. Yeah, I guess I'll take the Smelt. Well, Turn to Slag is actually a good card, so since we don't need any of these other things, I'll just take that. And...
nothing on color for us, unfortunately, so I guess the best card is Bond Beetle, maybe? It's got best synergies. Cleaver Riot does things sometimes, but a lot of times it doesn't do much. Uh, don't really care if our opponent plays this. I suppose I can take a Lion in case I'm really hard up for creatures. Yeah, I guess we'll take another Smelt. And Disentomb, so that's pretty playable. Alright, well, I think we did end up getting enough creatures, so I can build a reasonable deck out of this. Uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, so this is what I ended up building. I decided to run 16 lands because we top out at 5, and we don't have a ton at 5. Uh, Ring is not as impressive in this deck as I would have liked. We don't have a ton of white creatures. Um, just kind of an issue, I guess. A little bit concerned about that, but not much you can do about it. Um, I still think it's probably good enough to run. Certainly good with Vampire Nighthawk. Making him have Vigilance is good. In addition to his three other abilities. Uh, yeah, what do I see as the problems with this deck? Let's see. I mean, we've got relatively low creature count. I suppose you can count Captain's Call as a creature, but... We don't have a ton of early creature action going on, which is kind of a problem. Didn't get very good uh, auras, really, at all, which is also another problem. Uh, I mean, we have a decent amount of Exalted. What do we have? The Duty Bound Dead, Guardians. Wait, is that it? So we only have a couple, couple Exalted dudes, which isn't very good. Um, don't have a ton of finishers. I think that's the real problem with this deck. We don't have anything that's like really bomby. We don't have anything super well exalted. So really, I guess this deck's plan is get Odric online and then beat the opponent with it, which is a reasonable plan, just not a crazy good one. Um, I mean, even Disciples, not that amazing in this deck. I think we ended up getting cut on white pretty hard, packs two and three, so... I'm assuming someone was just really just grabbing up white, unfortunately, in those last couple packs. Um, Rise from the Grave is still fine, though, because we have Murder, and there's a chance. I mean, with Scorpion, we could kill something big and then steal it, so... Rise from the Grave has enough upside where I think I like it. War Falcon I decided to cut because we only have the Guardians, the Captain's Call, and the Odric to turn it on, which kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I guess this deck's okay. Not amazing. It's going to take some work to win with this thing, but there's a chance. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to give this a try. I'll see you around one.